Now call me confused. Wait, just call. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Speed to recover to Conor McGregor because when anybody breaks anything or get injured, I don't want to see that happen. But am I the only person that still feel like in a weird way that Conor McGregor won the fight? Now, this is the only person probably in history that can go out there, put on a show, lose, and still feel like he won the fight. No disrespect to the gentleman that he fought. And I am a casual UFC watcher. I watch when, when Conor fight. I watch when people say it's going to be a great fight. So I don't know the ins and outs of the sport. I don't know how this is supposed to happen. I don't know how to make this thing last. But I just still feel like Conor McGregor is the best UFC fighter on the planet. And I feel like he's the most feared. I feel like he sell the biggest tickets. And seeing him sit down on that ground still being upset because he went back and broke his ankle on his own. Nobody kicked him. He fell back awkwardly. And he was saying, this is a stoppage, right? And then when that man got on that microphone, sitting on his butt and said, keep your wife out my DMs. I don't know what projects Conor McGregor is from in Ireland. I don't know who he was raised around. That boy was raised with pit bulls. That boy was raised with wolves. Guns raised him like a knife, not a metaphor. Literally, literally knives raised Conor McGregor because for him to say that, he went Tupac against Biggie. He went 50 Cent against Ja Rule them. That man went the Green Ranger against the Power Rangers. Nobody can't say nothing to Conor McGregor for that man to be on the flow. Like, in, like, just out of commission, can't even stand on his leg and say, tell your wife to stay out my DMs. That might be the most dangerous white man on this planet. I don't know what part of Ireland he is from, and I've been to Ireland, and I understand the Irish people, and they are some proud people, some tough people, but this is a different kind of tough. This is tough mixed with alcohol, mixed with a little bit of speed, mixed with a little bit of Oxycontin, mixed with a couple of Percocets, because for that man to not be able to defend himself in that moment and still want it, I am Team Conor McGregor forever, and I still somehow feel like he won. I know he didn't win. I know he lost because he couldn't continue. But for, it was blood dripping from his ear. Like blood dripping from the side of his ear. And he was still talking. Conor McGregor going to be in his casket selling out. This damn casket is too small, Ladi. This damn casket is too small. Pull me back up. Set me back out. Get me a bigger casket. Listen, how do you beat a man that beat himself that can't be beat, that won't let you beat him? Am I the only person that feels like Conor McGregor still won that fight? And am I wrong for feeling that way? And is he still the baddest UFC fighter on the planet? Even after losing, is he still the baddest on the planet? Like, I'm asking for, as a casual UFC fan, just let me know, please.